Hey everybody, it's Mental Fox, and I've got more Cyberpunk 2077 for you. I was looking through my uh, side jobs here, uh, just to see which ones that uh, we could do instead of just looking for stuff on the map. And I saw this one called Send in the Clowns. A couple episodes ago, we were driving through town and we got a, uh, a message or a phone call. I can't remember which from this somebody named Ozob Bozo. It says, Ozob, quite the name. Don't know why, but the sound of it gets creepy circus music stuck in my head. Maybe the dude was an acrobat or lion tamer or some shit. Never know in this city. And we won't know till we call him and find out. Um, I want to look at my messages and see if... Did he text us or did he call us? I don't remember. Let's see here. Ozob Bozo. Okay, I guess he just texted us. He said, hey, got your number from a friend. Heard you're good at what you do. If that's the God's honest truth, then I've got a gig for you. Call me if you're interested. So what do you say we call old Ozob Bozo? and uh, see what he wants from us. Let's give him a call. It's V. Where'd you get a gig for me? You heard right. I need a driver. Uh, a driver? Uh, for what? Mm-hmm. And for what exactly? Oh, you know, this and that. I got a few errands to run. A couple of friends that need paying a visit. The usual. Listen, I'm a straight shooter. So let me cut right to the chase. I heard you're the best in town. Thing is, I like working with the best. And I know the best don't come cheap. I'm not gonna get into the nuts and bolts, cause if what they say about you is true, you can handle anything. So let's get this settled. You got what it takes? Or are they wrong about you? Hmm. Uh, sure, I'll take the gig. Alright, I'm in. Japan town, then. By the market entrance. Give a few honks and I'll stroll up. Later, V. Okay. Send in the clowns. We're just simply supposed to park at the given location. Let's uh, give the cops a wide berth here. Um, my vehicle is actually... Where? My minimap says it's in this direction. But I don't know exactly where it is. But yeah, it'd be nice if we just hop on our motorbike and uh, ride over. Yeah, it's right over here. <laughs> this place that we broke into in the last episode. Alright, let's hop on our old motorbike here. Let's see if my controller is working. Alright, so far so good. We need to turn around. Alright, it's only two kilometers away. It's not that far in this giant city. Whoa. So it looks like it's a nice day for a ride. So let's explore more of the city. Maybe it'll take us through some parts that we haven't been to yet. Yeah, like this. We haven't done this before. This is cool. When I played um, the Fallout games, Fallout 4 especially, it made me think of this. I wished that uh, <laughs> there was like some, I don't know, maybe a mod or something that you could use to see what parts of the map you had already visited. Like it would just like color in the map as you visited it so that way you could know whether you've seen the whole map or not and I think it'd be cool for something like this for something like that in this game but um, it seems like it would be pretty difficult because there's like so many layers here not that there's not layers in Fallout as well but there's so many layers in this city you know you can see there's a, a road right above me there and then, you know, a couple episodes ago, we visited that casino that was underground that I would have never known was there had the game not sent me there. So it makes me wonder, like, how many of those kinds of things I'm, you know, riding over right now or riding beneath that building right there. Is there, is there some part of that building up there that I could get into and explore? This is 
so neat. Right into this big city. Oh, missed my turn. That wasn't dangerous at all, that move I just made. <laughs> this is awesome. Oh, there's an exit here I didn't see. Made it to Japan Town. We're getting close to our parking spot. Okay. Parking spot is right here. Really? Here? Okay. Um, that's the map button. <laughs> I don't know why I thought that was the button to hit my horn. How do I, um... There we go. I'm a honking. Okay, I honked. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't have taken my motorcycle. <laughs> he said he needed a driver. <laughs> what are we gonna do? Ah, crap. Um, hmm. <laughs> Maybe he's just not gonna come down at all. Since I didn't bring a car. <laughs> what was I thinking? I wasn't thinking, that's the problem. I was thinking that I just like to ride my motorcycle. Plus, my motorcycle was right there. You know? So, how can I switch cars? That's what I want to know. Surely there's a way I can switch the vehicle that I'm riding in. Um, huh, how would I do that? So I can get off this thing. And the problem is, is that if I call a vehicle, it's just going to call that one. So, how do I... There we go. Okay. There. I'm not sure why it gave me the option that time. Last time... It just called the vehicle that was already close to me. Okay, hold on. Hold it right there. Hold it right there. That's a good spot. Okay, there we go. Okay, now it's telling me to go back there. Seems like a different location now. I don't want to freak these people out. They are so... Okay. Alright, you would have been fine if you had just stood there. Okay, back to the parking spot. Now that I'm actually in a car. <laughs> I... Alright. Okay, here, here he comes. Honk. Okay. Yeah, the, the game was smart enough to know that uh, showing up on a motorcycle... Oh my gosh, he does look like a clown. Look at this guy. What have I got myself hey, into? V, yes? Oh, fuck. <laughs> you didn't answer my question. Uh, dude, there's, there's something on your face. Uh, there's, uh, something on your face. The grenade. Can I ask why? You have a <sighs> juggling accident or something? Not cool. <laughs> you ask personal questions and yet you haven't even introduced yourself. You are V. Correct. <laughs> yeah, that's me. Yeah, that's me. Good. Then let's go. Where'd Sue? Little China. I have a craving for Kung Pao chicken. Extra spicy. What the hell? Okay, let's go. Driving this clown around. Taking it in at the you. What? The grenade. You know, the one on your face. Uh, you get used to it. <laughs> I just gotta be careful not to pull the pin when I wanna pick my nose. What? Going from Japan nice town to here. little China. A lot of stuff has changed. Where are you from? Brazil. You know, down in South. They know where Brazil is. <laughs> <laughs> you never know with you gringos. So 
so what does he need us for? Surely not just to drive him to get chicken. Tiger claws. Heard of them? <laughs> Who hasn't? Got any friends in there? No, why? Just asking. Can't help being curious. Look at my mini map. There's one interesting path that's taking me on here. So I think Little China is where we live, where V lives. I think, doesn't he? Is it? Okay. This is the place. Wait for me here and keep the engine running. Came all this way to get takeout. You could say that. <laughs> uh huh. <laughs> I think I'm in the way. The way I parked. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure enough. <laughs> the game was confused. It's like, hmm, how do I get over there? Ah, oh, jeez. What are we going to hear? Gunshots? Screaming? Oh, explosion. Who will take care of my mama? <gasps> Who will take care of my mama? Whoa. Whoa. What the fuck was that? You got grenades up your ass too? <laughs> this ain't a good time to stick around, right? This ain't a good time. He's down. Okay. Play Got Your Nose? <laughs> okay. All right. Anyone want to play Got Your Nose? Okay. Well, we're gonna take these cool weapons. Huh. Not bad, right? Yeah. Would have been even better if you told me what you were planning from the get-go. They say you're good. You can really fucking good. Got a stick up your ass, though. Ago, oh, it's right by this guy. Huh. Okay. What's up, man? Let's put our weapon away here. Hello, I'd like to put my weapon away, game. Okay. Now we can talk. Go ahead. <laughs> it's true what they say. <laughs> You're good. Really fucking good. Got a stick up your ass, though. This is where we part ways. Good luck, V. And, uh... Relax a bit, okay? How how'd you get the grenade, man? Now, are you gonna tell me about the grenade? Oh, that. My brother ripped it off during a fight with pliers. Ooh, one happy family. You don't know the half of it. I could have chipped another one, but I don't know. I think this matches my style more. Uh huh. Besides, it's a real icebreaker with the ladies. Got any powder for my nose? <laughs> Man, does it work? Not really. <laughs> In my payment? What about my payment? What about it? Here, like I said before, the best don't come cheap. Take Whoa. care, V. And hey, keep your nose to the ground. Nice. Okie dokie. Well, there he goes. He just show up here, he runs in, kills the people. I don't know where he ran in exactly. I don't know if he went in this door that I can't go in. I don't know if he just ran behind this guy. Of humanity. Let's talk to him. You think President Myers is one of them? Why so many shootings? Why do countless die on the streets as the police do nothing? What human would condemn his brethren to such suffering? And why? And where did this filth slither out from, you ask? Antarctica, you said that already. Huh? Today they hide amidst the snow and ice of the South Pole. Step by step, usurping our crown as creation's chosen. Millions of years ago, they evolved from dinosaurs to become the world's first advanced, intelligent race. And who is their progenitor? Their masters? The scientists of Alpha Centauri! Uh-huh. That's it? I recognize you. Here we go again. 
I do come here often. Eyes tell me that your mind has opened to the truth. Mm -hmm. Will you provide a humble donation so that I may continue my mission? So I told you before that somebody in the comments told me that if I give him a hundred euro dollars, I'll get a mission from him. But now I'm starting to think they're just trolling me. Do good work. Use this to wake Night City up. Thank you for your devotion. I saw a disciple of truth in you from the very beginning. How many people did we kill? Radio waves bear the truth. Let those with ears listen and those with eyes behold. Hmm. Looks like collateral damage. Oh, I'm gonna take your golden chain. Yoink. And your weapon. It's what I do. And you, sir? Nothing? Look at this guy. Get a good look at this guy. It's kind of cool. So we know they were with Tiger Claws. We know that much. And it's right here by Misty's place. I don't think he ran into Misty's place. Did he run back here? Maybe he went in that door? I'm not sure. And probably doesn't even matter. I was just curious. Oh, he's just standing here. He's still here, I didn't realize that. So much for Kung Pao Chicken. Well, um, I like I said, I think that um, we live right around here. V, v lives nearby, I think. And uh, we actually have um, a quest to finish up here. This one here, this Happy Together. We need to go back and talk to the cops about our neighbor and uh, I believe that that person is right over here where we live uh, right over here where we live I guess yeah here's where we live so let's just follow the dotted line or this dotted line on our mini map here and head back to our apartment and uh, speak with the cops since we're in the neighborhood So if you remember, when we were in our apartment earlier, there were these two cops and they were trying to speak with Barry, our downstairs neighbor. They were worried about him, so they asked V if he could talk to him. So we talked to Barry, and he was upset about um, Andrew, I think? Is that the name? Andrew had died. And so we talked to him about that, and then Barry mentioned that Andrew had a niche in uh, the Columbarium. So we went to the Columbarium to check on Andrew. I hope I got that name right. And uh, we found out that Andrew was a turtle. Which was fine, you know. People form attachments. So let's uh, go up and speak with the cops. Install at your own risk. Um, I also said that the next time we were here, we were going to uh, stop and fight this uh, robot to get in a little bit of practice. Not too jazzed about doing this kind of thing, but it, it might be something that we could stand to learn. Uh, let's see here. Um, yeah, since we're here, let's go ahead and talk to this guy. Hey, man, you go in the ring yourself? You go in the ring yourself? Not anymore. Cull's taking too much of a beating. Reflexes ain't what they used to be. There's ways of fixing that. Karenza cops should do the trick. Rather dish out my eddies for something else. It's time I started taking it easy. Mm-hmm. Okay. What have you got on sale? What have you got for sale? Only top shelf gear. So this guy, he sells weapons. That's what he does. He sells weapons, and it looks like he sells 
uh, melee weapons exclusively. So I can't say that I'm too interested in any of this stuff. But I am going to go ahead and just sell him all these melee weapons I've got. There, make a little bit of money. Man, we're loaded now. Okay, well, um, yeah, this is part of another job called... Mm, what's this one called? Where is it? Well, I thought it was part of a job. Maybe it's not. Yeah, I don't know. Well, let's sit down here and see what happens. This is it? This is it? Coach Fred, he just sells things? Okay. Hmm. Well, for some reason, I thought that uh, we would uh, fight with this guy or something. Or not fight with him, but fight with this robot over here. So, um... Hmm. Okay. Well, I don't really know what is going on here. But, uh, oh well. I don't know. I really don't know. Hmm. I can't melee attack him. So we'll just put our weapon away here in this public space. Huh. Okay. What do you think, man? Cute, ain't they? Cute? Ha! Chum! Them girls were so sweet! I think I'm in sugar shock! <laughs> I didn't know if I wanted to fuck them or like gobble them up. Because tomorrow ain't coming. <laughs> if they don't let you touch them, don't matter, do it. But their blood, it tastes like chocolate. Okay. Or honey. Uh, yeah, maybe you are in sugar shock. <laughs> Carpet fucking deep. Alright, I'm gonna go back and switch to this quest here. The Happy Together quest. Job, whatever. You right there, buddy? Honey, you gotta tell me how you got to be you. <laughs> What's that? The crowds? No. The fucking smell. True. Sweet it is not. I think we already saw that conversation. Well, let's go talk to the cops. Oh, new message from Judy. What's up, Judy? Hey. Oh. Buried Ev today. Columbarium near North Oak. Thought you might want to know. Uh, how you feeling? I intend to get thoroughly shit faced today. <laughs> oh. When danger lurks. Poor Judy. That's a sad story. Sign up for our platinum plan today. Because your life is worth Hello. I am now going to talk to you, cops. Stay close, alright? Stay close. Hey, what did Barry tell you about his dead friend? Hey, so what did Barry tell you exactly about that friend he lost? Not much. Hardly ever spoke about him. Said once he was the only one who could understand him. It's nice to have someone like that. Mm-hmm. Um, well, you know, he's a little depressed. We had a little chat. He seems chilled, but seriously down in the dumps. He's got a bone to pick with Mendez. What? So why doesn't he say so to my face? Well, because you disregard his problems, man. Clearly he couldn't stand his job and didn't have anyone to talk to about it. He said you didn't even try to understand him. See? Was I right? <laughs> Give me a break. Barry likes playing the drama queen. You just gotta shake some sense in him, trust me. We'll see. We'll have to check in on him later. Thanks for your help. This is for your trouble. Ooh, thanks for thanks for some funds. Six hundred and eighty. What, what? What? You guys got a deal. I'm supposed to go talk to Barry again in a few hours. Good grief. Fine. Got another drive. Okay, so Barry lives beneath us. So we're gonna go upstairs. Let's go check in on our apartment. It's been a while since we've been there. What is that? Oh my. She said there was a cold front moving in. Prepare for cooler conditions, she says.
Every time I come back here, I expect there to be somebody waiting for me in here. But uh, that's not the case this time. It's a pretty cool view. I mean, come on. That's not bad. Looks like there's even like maybe a little green space on that building over there. I dig it. It is very cool. Well, uh, so I do know that we have another quest um, where I'm supposed to look at something on the computer. called This one's called Killing in the Name. This one's High Danger. Uh, but since we're here, we may as well go look on the computer. We're supposed to investigate the site from the Bart Moss Collective message. Now, the Bart Moss Collective has been sending us a lot of messages. Uh, Bart Moss Collective, open messages. I mean, there have been a lot. Oh, okay, so this is the, the website they're talking about here. I mean, here's what the Bart Moss Collective has to say. First will come the Great Reality Check, which ushers in the future of the world. Whenever money changes hands, your true self becomes a victim to capitalism. The best weapon against capitalism is uninterrupted meditation. Corporate oppression will only end once you stop oppressing yourself. Wake up and wake others up. Join our collective. So we are now going to visit this website here, which apparently we can only do on our home computer. Okay, let us use our computer. And we'll go to the net. And... How... How do I visit this web page? Um, hmm. How do I do this? Huh. We're supposed to investigate the site from Bart Moss Collective Message. V's computer. Okay, that's where we are. We're here. We are at our computer. So, how... V's computer is 70 meters away? What? I think the game's a little confused. Yeah, now it's just telling me to go right back in here. Okay. Investigate the site. How do I do that? Um... I have no idea. I can go to these websites here. Typing doesn't seem to do anything. Um. Huh. Well, I don't see any. Oh, right here, Bart Moss Collective. Okay, looks like I already bookmarked it. Was that there before? All right, whatever. Here's their web page. Yeah, time to wake up. Web. Reward for any info on Swedenborg. Uh, Bess Isis. I'll pay for any info about Swedenborg or Swedenborg Riviera's true identity. What is this? Hello, my name is Bess Isis and I'm an independent journalist. I ended up here after the recent incident at Helvetia. He's been to uh, West Virginia? You might have heard about. Who exactly is the man that inspired the attacker? The man that you all practically worship? Have you ever wondered who Swedenborg Riviera actually is? I know I have. So here's the deal. I'm willing to pay for any info that might help unravel this mystery. Don't hesitate to get in touch. Bess Isis. Here we go. Here's some comments. Comment by Senior Rules. Nice try. You think we'd betray our leader to a corpor corpo slut like you? Even if I knew something, I wouldn't help. I wouldn't tell you shit. Do not help this woman. Corpse want to silence our leader. Rococo says, "LOL. First you call her a corpo slut, and then you use woman. Real gentleman right here." Wallenrod44 says, "I heard that Swedenborg was a high-ranking corpo." and he dismantled the system from within, but then they found him out, and now he's shacked up somewhere on Mosquito Coast in Nicaragua. And our, our Anger X admin says, Congratulations, you've all managed to break about half of the forum rules. I'd be lying if I said I was sad to close this thread. Okay. How do I back out of here? How do I 
back out of this. The corporate oppression will end when you stop oppressing yourself. This is one of Swedenborg Riviera's most poetic ophorisms. He shows us that in reality, we are the drivers of our own actions. If workers unite, the towers of capitalistic oppression will fall. We must do everything in our power to achieve that. Okay. So this guy's the admin of this site. Okay. So he says that. Comment by Carl Forever. When corporate tyranny ends, the worker will no longer be dehumanized. <laughs> Professor Socrates says, NRX admin, I implore you. The anti-capitalist discourse of Swedenborg Riviera is much more complicated than it seems. He is undoubtedly here referring to an existential crisis, weaving together threads from Heidegger and Jaspers. Reading both of them may provide you with critical insights. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Combat by Jory, I love this quotation, brings tears to my eyes every time I read it. LOL3077 says, Don't shit yourselves thinking too hard, book nerds. <laughs> All right. Let's see. Anything else here? Humanity is nothing more than a Ponzi scheme hidden behind a veil of tears. Every person is a bearer of suffering as well as its catalyzer and transmitter. In our global free market society, such an obstacle cannot merely be transcended. The first step is realizing that our decision decisions are illusory. Huh. New life, new pants, it says... Okay. Sweet Kitty says, socialize the means of production, replace corporations with collectives, throw in a bit of rationally oriented management, and this whole global pyramid scheme will collapse on itself. Rebel 77 says, Rebel 777 says, okay, gotta get that right. I can't wait for the communo eco cyber revolution led by Swedenborg. Your senior rules again at Enter Engerex admin. Do you really have interpret everything through a neo-Marxist lens, you wouldn't notice Schopenhauer if Swedenborg smacked you in the head with the world as will and representation. And then he says something in Latin. I am Abyss says, you can stick Schopenhauer up your pretty little butthole. <laughs> okay. Let's see here. There's still some more here, but we don't have to look at all this stuff. So now we're supposed to call Bess Isis about Swedenborg. Uh, but this is a high danger thing. I don't think we need to call Bess Isis right now. Uh, it does say, I'm curious about the Swedenborg Riviera. To write that kind of nonsense, you've got to have a good head. Humanity is nothing but a pyramid scheme hidden behind a facade of tears. Well, fuck me. What's this guy on and where can I get some? <laughs> yeah. Well, all right. Well, yeah, we'll wait till this. We'll wait till we've leveled up, and that this is no longer high danger before we do that. Uh, I'm curious about this Venus and Furs one here with this Meredith Stout person. Meredith Stout invited you over to her room at the Notel Motel. Shit, V. Don't know whether to give you props or talk you out of it. Either way, you are telling me your secret for picking up corpo chicks. All right. But in the meantime. Uh, a couple hours are supposed to pass before we're supposed to go back and speak with uh, our downstairs neighbor. Has enough time passed? It has not. Uh, we can take care of that real quick. Just go ahead and go to sleep. I don't think I get to decide how long I sleep, but it doesn't matter. It'll definitely be a co couple of hours, and then we can go downstairs and talk to Barry. Check on him while we're here. Oh, it's dark outside now. Let's go check on Barry. Um, I don't think I have any more iconic weapons that I want to store for the heck of it. Yeah, I don't think I do. So, yeah, we have some epic stuff. This looks legendary. But as far as iconic, my understanding, this is rare slash iconic. I don't really know what that means. Um, iconics are one of a kind weapons in the game, I think. 
And for whatever reason, it was suggested that I uh, hang on to those. I don't know. Um, we'll just dismantle some of these common and uncommons. We don't need to be carrying these things around. Yeah. Rare slash iconic. The Fenrir. I don't know. I mean, it doesn't, it doesn't hurt anything to store it, I don't think. It's not like I'm going to run out of space. How do I open my stash? Every time I come in here. There we go. Uh, let's see here. Let's just go ahead and store this thing. Where is it? Here, this thing. We'll just store that. Just add it to my collection. What the heck? Why not? Okay. Now we'll go downstairs and check on Barry. Excuse me. Barry. Oh. Oh. Barry, you fucking ass! Oh no. I'm sorry, okay? What happened? Sorry. What happened? So sorry. What? Mendez. It's too late. Oh no. He can't hear you. Your, your genes were fine, Barry. You were the strongest son of a bitch I knew. The hell? I'm so I'm so sorry, Barry. I Sorry. I can't even talk to him? That's it? That's how that ends? Is there any new text here at the closing of this thing? Happy together. Job failed? What happened? What did I do? What didn't I do? Did I wait too many hours to go talk to him? Man, I don't know. Well, if you know what I did wrong or what I didn't do, let me know. I'm curious. Man! Couldn't save Barry? What the heck, man? What the heck? Huh. Um... Yeah. That makes me wonder where my last save was. Uh, it's right outside the door here. Uh, the last save was at my computer. Uh, surely it's not because I took too long to go talk to him, is it? Um, I'm wondering if maybe I had told these people something different? I didn't want to tell them about Andrew the Turtle because, I don't know, I just thought they would make fun of him and, I don't know, Barry deserves some privacy, you know. Uh, but I'm wondering if I had told them about the turtle, if something different could have happened? I don't know, man. Ah, crud. Well, if you know, let me know, because I am curious. Yeah. Um. Really? That's it, huh? Huh. Makes me wonder if I can get into his apartment sometime, somehow, but I'm going to guess I can't. Get out of here. Oh, get out of here? Judy, again. Hey, Judy. How you feeling? Shitty, but something came to me. What's that? Yeah? You're still in mourning. Grief is a process. Gotta give yourself time to grieve, Judy. Experience all its stages. Feel them. Let them play out. Shock, anger, depression. I'd say I'm on anger. <laughs> Gonna stay here for a while, too. I can work with anger. Alright, well, what was it that came to you? So what did you come up with? The Mox died. Lizzie's bar used to be a joy house. Tiger Claws killed one girl too many. So people took matters into their own hands. It belongs to us now. Clouds could stand to get the same makeover. Uh-huh. Are you sure you've thought this through? I'm sure you've thought this through, Judy. Carefully. I haven't thought it through at all. All I know is the Mox didn't turn things around by sitting on their tanned and toned asses doing nothing. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. So the Mox want to take over Clouds, huh? Got the Mox to agree to take over Clouds. No, I'm trying to get you. <laughs> no, someone at Clouds will take our side. Will you help? Uh, yeah, I'll help. I can't not right now, or can't do this. It's a bad idea. Fine, I'll help. Fine. Got me on board. Oh, yes. Okay, so, what's the plan? First up, we gotta talk to Michael Maeda. If she's not with us, might as well throw our hands up in the air. L like you just don't care? Uh, this Maiko, who is she exactly? Maiko Maeda. Who is she exactly? 
girl who unofficially runs clouds. Good at it, too. What's she do officially? She's a doll, so she's a nobody. Hmm. Think she's gonna want to help us? You sure Michael's gonna want to join forces? If I was sure, I'd be on the hollow to her and we wouldn't be having this conversation. Let me rephrase. Is there any chance she'll slap us around and shove us out her mega tower window? Of course, sure. Guess I can work with that. Do you know her well? How well do you know this Michael? Too well. Well, when do you want to meet? When are we doing this? Early morning. Clouds will be closed. Hardly a soul lurking at that time. How early? Before eight. I'll be by the entrance. Oh, scratch that. The balcony above clouds. When danger lurks. We'll sneak in. No one needs to know we're there. Mm. On the balcony. Got it. On the balcony. You know the balcony. You know. So, yeah, we're supposed to go to this thing at 8 a.m., but it didn't say what day. <laughs> Just said in the morning. No other uh, text here, but we're supposed to go to Mega Building H8. And there's that dotted line business again. I guess sometimes, like, when I'm in a building, it doesn't it does give me step-by-step -step instructions on how to get to a place. So, this room... What the hell? Move back! What, I thought we were friends. Oh well. Oh. That's just a bummer, dudes. So, what is wrong with this robot? And how do I use it? I thought I was supposed to be able to, be able to practice fighting. Um, when I come over here, there's a thing there. Dr. Havoc and Radon. I'm pretty sure we already read that. This guy, it's like, we could talk to him, um, but nothing else happens. For reasons unknown, I can sit here, but that's it, so was, was fighting with a robot for sale? I don't think so. So yeah, I don't really know what is going on here. Um, you know, in a game as glitchy as this, you have to wonder if, uh, this is just glitched out. But, oh well. Oh well. And then, I think we may even have another quest here. In the neighborhood. Shoot the thrill. Go to Wilson's shooting range. Which is, I believe, really close to where we are right now. This is, this is it right here, as a matter of fact. So let's go here and see what the heck this is, since we're in the neighborhood. Let's talk to Wilson. Uh, hey, V. We're about to start. You, uh, gotta take a piss or something? Uh, now's the time. <laughs> um, just one sec. Just a sec. Be right back. Okay. Alright, I'm back. Thanks for your concern. Let's start this rodeo. <laughs> Can't just yet. Not till you get in the range. Go on, set up, chop chop. Okay, enter the shooting range. Let's do that. I better stock up on ammo before I do this, huh? Yeah, that's what I should do. Okay, let's see how this goes. Hey, what's up? How's it going? Everybody comes out to say hi. Alrighty, how many we got? Just six? God damn. Well, no point crying about it. <clears throat> Rules are simple, right? There's the target, shoot it. Don't matter which one, go on and shoot your neighbors. Most hits wins. Uh, <laughs> meaning, hits on the target, not your neighbor. Oh, right, uh, small caliber iron only. Don't go showing off with your fucking assault bangers or no rocket pukers, got me? First prize is a pistol. Mm. But, uh, a, a real nice one. It's fucking nice, I'm telling you. Anyway, uh, enough words. Get worked up. <laughs> Ready? Ready? I don't know. Am I? Where am I going? Right here? Uh, I guess this is the weapon I'm going to use. Oh, I should have equipped it. It's called New. N-E-U. Um, where is it? New. Okay, it's just some uncommon pistol. Okay. Well, let's see how well I do. Uh, just to draw and aim my weapon, and I have done that. I haven't aimed yet. 
Um, so let us go ahead and aim. Three. Okay. Two. Hey, hey, the hell is that? The hell are you doing with that double barrel? Said small caliber only. Uh, forgot my iron. Must be in my other jacket. <laughs> and that's why you keep your gun in a holster. A holster! Get the fuck out of my sight now! <laughs> fuck, Chum. Chill. <laughs> I'm going. I'm going. Pearls before swine, for fuck's sake. Okay. Here we go. Guess right. I'm ready. Three. I'm gonna be terrible at two, this. One. Did I shoot it? Oh, I guess it was like however many shots you could hit. Uh, I don't see a counter telling me how well I'm doing or how poorly I'm doing. Target! Hit the target, not the wall! Shut up. Looking good, Rudy! Go, go, go! Halfway there, G! Get a grip Oh my gosh, me. I just saw where it says shoot the targets 15 of 100. The hell was that, Lisa? Forget your glasses? Last chance, me. Ah, nothing like the smell of powder and hot lead. Wow, thirty-one. Stop, everyone, stop. Eh. Done. Okay, go to Wilson. First place, Rudy. Oh. Oh. Second, V. Oh, uh, we came in second. Rest of you bush league punks. Learn to shoot. Get out of my sight. Hmm. Okay. Oh. Hmm. What do I not have enough of to talk to him about? Okay, see ya, I guess. See you around, Wilson. Till next time. Okay. Alright, well, that was great. That was tons of fun. I did not write this, it says. Uh, so, we didn't have enough... Uh, reflexes. So we needed more reflexes to ask him a question. Now, I don't have to have, you know, everything maxed out of here. I, I can't. Plain and simple. So yeah, there's going to be some things that just aren't going to be available to me. Because I don't have a high enough attribute. And that's okay. It's inter interesting to me that I would need reflexes to talk to him. Uh, Morgan Blackhand, Street Iron. In the age of thousands of target tracing add-ons, a smorgasbord, smorgasbord of firearms with Kuroshi optics modules and other bells and whistles. Whistles? What the hell's wrong with me? Let's pause for a second to examine an undying classic, Constitutional Arms Liberty model. People sometimes forget that technology isn't perfect. Even if your device hasn't betrayed you yet, one day it will. The day will come when you'll have to pick up your gun with your own hand, aim with your own naked eyes, and pull the trigger. Old school. And followers of the old school always knew that the best choice was the Liberty. Simple enough to hammer and nail, complex enough to mow down a dozen gangoons in seconds. I'm sold. Oh, I can't go in there. Well, that was very, very exciting. I don't know about you guys, but that was just great, great stuff right there. Really enjoyed that. Uh, this guy sells stuff. All right, let's see what you got. Uh, that weapon. What I like to hear. That I just picked up. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I could just sell it right back to him. Um, yeah, I'm gonna keep this legendary. Where is the the new? Yeah, let's just sell him this. Yes, I'm sure. Yeah, we'll just sell it right back to him. And, uh, I don't know, even these rare things, what the heck, we'll sell these off and make a little bit of money. And we'll keep the epics, I don't know, and this legendary sounds pretty cool. Sure, why not? Okay, I, well, I think that's pretty much all that there is for me to do here outside the apartment. Unless I could somehow figure out how to box with this robot, but I don't know how to do it. You're not the one I talked to, are you? Yes? Hello? Yes, hello. Hello, yes. Hey, yeah. Okay. Well, I don't know what the deal is there. 
But um, I'm going to go ahead and end this episode right here when we come back next time. I think what I want to do is maybe uh, do this Venus and Furs thing. Go to the vo Notel Motel. I'm not sure exactly where it is on the map, but we'll figure that out next time. Thanks for joining me on this episode. I sure hope you enjoyed it. If you did, maybe leave me a like or a comment. Maybe, I don't know, tell your friends. You know, that kind of stuff. Thanks for watching. See you again in the next episode.